Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks and today we are building a massive cannon barge. Now, if you guys don't know what a barge is, of course it is just a, uh, it's just a floating platform to put things on. And if you don't know what a cannon is, it is something that fires out rounds. So, yeah, that's a thing. Anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this barge right here to build a, uh, a cannon on. And, um... Yeah, hopefully it works. So, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Let's do this. Alright, so the first thing that I want to do is actually have this thing be able to fire forwards. Uh, we need to be able to angle it up and down. So, that is the first thing we are going to work on. Let's go ahead and angle ourselves. Actually, I suppose we're going to do this towards the back. So, let's go ahead and uh, uh, put this in here, just like so. There we go. We're going to go ahead and whack this into the sky if we can. Here we go. Just like so, yes. I want it to be quite high. I know that seems weird, but that is something that I want to do. So there we go, we're going to do it. go ahead and do that again. And we're going to attach all of this together like so. There we go. Alright, pretty weird so far. Also, I am going to try and add more than, I guess more than one gun. We're going to have a few Bertha cannons on this, which are huge. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, let's go ahead and delete this right here. Get ourselves a pivot and smack it straight in there. And hopefully... This will be good enough to actually lift it up. Um, I think they'll be strong enough. I think. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but we'll see. So, let's go ahead and get a Bertha Cannon. And uh, we'll see what happens. Here we go. Bertha Cannon. Smack that directly on there like so. One, two, oh my goodness. We can actually have like a bunch of these. In fact, actually, go ahead and put that right there like so. Get ourselves a Bertha Cannon. Whack it on here like this. There we go. Nice. Okay. So that's two. And then another one is what we need. All right, delete those. Grab another one of these. Birth of cannons. Whack them back in. There we go. One, two, and there we go. So we got five guns. That is, that is a lot. I'm not going to lie. That is a lot of guns. So what we're going to do now is extend them all forwards. Yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five. All right, there we go. I don't know how far we actually want this to go forwards, uh, but it's going to be quite a lot. I'm not going to lie. There we go. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, this thing is going to be for, like, pounding, um, I don't know, let's say bunkers or on a mainland. That would be really cool. So, let's go ahead and whack all these into here like this. There we go. And then all of this one down the middle. Oh, it's so hard to actually, like, do this. I wish we could just drag it. We can't, though. We can't just drag it. Hey, there we go. Nice. Okay. Oh, some of these are in the wrong place. This one all the way down here. Yikesies. Okay, right. Here we go. Get ourselves centered. We should just be able to do this. Pretty much all the way down the center. There we go. All right, beautiful. So as long as we've got something that can reload these, it's going to be great. All right, so we're never going to be aiming down very much anyway. So that is why I've built it like this. Essentially, this is uh, this is going to be our little, uh, our little support for the end of the gun. I think that's probably fine. We can just have it just like this. There we go. It's not going to do anything, so it doesn't matter. But uh, we're going to extend the guns a little bit more. Yikes. Oh, these are big. These are big old Bertha cannons. Um, and yeah, like I said before, these will be used to actually, like, uh, attack bunkers, I guess. Uh, which is actually pretty awesome. You just direct the barge with, I guess, a tugboat in front or behind. And then you'd launch the, the rounds. That's it. That's all you have to do. And the barrels are that long that you can actually fire these for like kilometers. So you can fire it from kilometers away and do loads of damage. Very cool. Anyway, what I want to do now is actually have the ability to reload these things. Um, so we can either do it where we reload them while they're here. Or we can do it so that they have all of the rounds they need pretty much all of the time. And in fact, actually, now that I think about that, why don't we do that? Here we go. It doesn't need reloading if we can just have them be reloaded the entire time. So cut this, do that. There we go. Paste it there. Very nice. If we merge these together, merge this with this. There we go. We can then make this like super strong. Here we go. Super powerful. Yes. Super powerful as well. Awesome. Ah, that should work. Okay, good. So let's say we've got them like this. Pretty weird. Okay. That's fine though. It doesn't matter. Straight pipes. Here we go. Straight Straight thingamabobbies. There we go. Those can go there and here as well. And then what we're going to do is this. So we grab these guys. We put them there. Okay. Yeah, there's another one. And we need to do the one in the center also. There we go. So now that we've got those, we should be able to angle it still. That'd be great. And then what we can do is get some straight uh, pipe thingamabobbies. 
go ahead and smash them onto there, and drag them pretty much all the way to the end of the gun. Because they're only going to go up anyway, so this is actually fine. Here we go. Do that as well, and then do this one right here. There we go, fan dabby dozy. The only thing we definitely, I guess we definitely need, is a feeder. So let's go and get a feeder, smack it into all of these. There we go. And yeah, it's going to automatically load the gun, even while it's in position. Hey, nice. Would you look at that? Okie dokie, here we have it. So this thing is uh, its pretty big, I'm not going to lie. We're going to go ahead and get inside the building. Let's see if these move. <gasps> it actually works. Oh, it actually works. That's cool. Okay, cool. So uh, open the breach. There we go. The breaches are opening, as you guys can see right there on all of the guns. We're going to go ahead and turn on the feeder so it actually lifts them up into position. There we go. And then we go ahead and turn that off. Turn this off. It'll close the rounds into the guns. There we go. And then we should be able to fire it. Three, two, one, go! Oh, hang on, why isn't the firing working? I think they've closed, I think they've closed. Three, two, one, go! Oh, <laughs> oh look at that! I want to see how much damage that does. I need a ballistics calculator, that would be a good idea. Um, but there you go, look, we can actually lift it up off the ground. We can fire it, that's awesome. We need to be able to aim it and stuff, that'd be great too. Uh, I do want to see how much damage this does. I really do. Also, aiming it uh, is going to be kind of tricky. But if we get ourselves some motors, all right, we just slap them on the side. Uh, some, like, huge ones, that's fine. Here we go. So if we just slap this into here, for example, we delete that right there. We delete this right here as well. And we, uh, I guess we just put a pipe through. All right, this is going to be weird. But we get a straight enclosed pipe. We get it in the color that we need it in. There we go. Let's merge this with the boat. There we go, on both sides, presumably. There we go. Uh, whack this into here like this. There we go. And then get a propeller. And we should be good to go, to be honest. We should be great here. All right, there we go. That could go there. Propeller. Do, 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 do. Propeller. Go ahead and get ourselves one of the big ones. Giant propeller. And maybe not a giant one. Uh, one of the big ones, like a large one. There we go. And we should be able to actually control that from up here somewhere. That'd be great. So get ourselves a throttle lever for our aiming purposes our our aiming purposes um let's go ahead and smash this into here like this good whack that back in there and then we should be able to connect this with this one get ourselves an inverter yes okay smack this onto this side that's okay whack it on there connect this directly up to this one connect this up to whatever this is and then we should be able to like move it from side to side which would be perfect actually that'd be brilliant also, I want an actual seat so that when we want to fire it, I can see what's going on. Here we go. So the firing mechanism is going to be space bar instead of this. Okay, here we go. So uh, trigger. Where is the trigger on all of these? Trigger, 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 and trigger. There we go. Nice. All right, get rid of the fire button. There we go. And I'm ready. Okay. If everybody else is ready, let's see what happens here. So we can just move it to the side. Uh, and that'll be great. That'll be awesome. All right, we're sat inside. Let's go ahead and aim it up slightly. There we go. All right, feeder and breach. There we go. We can actually see it happening from here, so that's all good. Can we aim it to the side? Oh, they're not even in the water down there. They're not actually in the water. All right, we need to change those. Anyway, feeder and breach. Close those. And then we should be able to just fire it. This will be amazing. As soon as those breaches are closed properly. There we go. Three, two, one. Ready? Oh, oh that's a lot of damage. Yikes. Okay, right. Uh, I want to get this thing moving and I want to put it somewhere. And I want to fire it at a building or something. That would be so cool. Alright, here we go, guys. We are going out to war. Now, realistically, I guess you'd use a tugboat for this, but whatever. It's for Oh, my goodness. Okay, they're really powerful. They're a lot more powerful than I expected. But here we go. We're going out to war. Okay, let's try and hit an island. I, I think this is going to be pretty tricky to do, but let's see. So we're going to go ahead and try and aim left a little bit. Okay, not an awful lot. That's crazy. Okay, right. Okay. It's a little bit sensitive. In fact, it's very sensitive. We're going to aim this up. We're going to do feeder and breach. There we go. We're going to have to turn this thing to the side. Okay, excellent. Oh, it's very, um, very sensitive. Uh, right, okay, feeder and breach. Go ahead and close these up. All right, they're getting ready. Excellent. And then we're going to go ahead and fire it off, and this is going to be crazy. 
Oh, look at how powerful these side ones are. We need them to be way less powerful. Okay, I want to try and hit that island, the big one. Um, the, this one. That one right in front of us. Okay, turn it left. Fire. Okay, I think I might have missed. I missed the island, right? Only just? We only just missed the island. Okay, hang on. Let's do it again. Let's see if we can reload this thing. All right, actually, how about... How about we try and hit that boat right there? I've spawned in a boat. I think it'd be a cool idea to try and hit it. I think if we lower these all the way down, we might be able to shoot it like that. I'm not sure. Also, aiming this is is kind of impossible. It's really, really difficult to do. I'm not going to lie. But let's go ahead and try and aim it towards the target. There we go. Okay. Aim left a little bit more. There it is. All right, left a tiny bit. Left a tiny bit. Okay, three, two, one. Fire! Too low. Okay, tiny bit. There we go. Okay, feed it. There we go. Awesome. Yes. Okay, I think we can slowly do this. We can, we're slowly doing it. Load that in. Let's go. Come on. All right, you guys ready? I, I think I'm ready. Uh, right, we've lined ourselves up pretty nicely here. Ready? Three, two, one. Fire! <laughs> okay. Uh, well, we hit the boat, and it has disappeared. Okay, it obliterates boats. That's good. All right, it's very good to know. Anyway, um, I'm going to end this video here for now. I thought it was a fun idea to build something like this. What might be a really cool idea is to actually have it turn as well. Uh, I think that would be awesome. But um, for now, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed whatever the heck this was. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.